Residents in the St. Michael Central constituency are split on the decision by Bishop Joseph Avili to contest the seat in the upcoming general election. And interestingly enough, it seems there's some support for the man of God. Yeah, that's a good idea. He's a, he's a man from this area. As a little young sir, around born here in his house and I know his family and everything. But he's a man I respect. I go to church and different kind of things. But you should take it course, man. And what do you think, this is the final thing, what do you think persons in this constituency are looking for from a representative? Somebody that's going to take care of the, the people in the, in the area and everything. Not just talk about it. He's on that, but he had always planned to, to finish with politics since uh, 2018. After uh, he won, I think he had said to his constituents that, you know, this would be my last. But since he started the party, you know, there's no sense uh, just uh, packing up the shelf and, but you know, to see if something can happen. And so, something did happen, and I think he has a good chance. It's a mistake. Why is that? Because he will not get no vote from us. We are accustomed to um, offer holder. And if we have to vote, we'll vote for him, not the opposition leader. No. Do, do you have any thoughts at all about him, though, about Bishop Avenue? I don't his, have his, nothing his... against him, but we are accustomed to one person. All our struggle was he, so we'd have nothing to do with that side. Well, to me, it doesn't matter. Everybody deserves a chance. If he wants to run, let him run too. Probably I'll even vote for him. Yeah. Why, why would you probably even vote for him? Because I asked the gentleman to do something for me, and it was never done. Never. Four years. Oh, not about three and three and Sam. Nothing. I think it's a good idea. This is not the first time I remember. I don't remember which prime minister was in, and he was supposed to run up here. And uh, they chose, I think then Mr. Ishmael came, and he wrote letters to all of us up here and asked us to vote for Mr. Ishmael. So it's nothing new to me that he has decided to come and run for up in here. I think it's a, a good thing, and I wish him all the best. Well, I don't know nothing really about Bishop Joseph Attlee. I used to go to church with him one time, but being in politics, I don't really know because he ain't really for this constituency. I'm not familiar with him for this constituency. So I don't know about running because right now he's a real DLP, Democratic Labour Party floating with me all the time. So uh, right now, for me now, in this time, the man for this constituency will be Corey Cox for me. Why is that? Because um, I feel that we want to change right now in this constituency. That's how the way I feel. Well, I was spent half a boat once, and I jump off. I nearly get drunk. I jump off, so I run back on for my own boat. He young, you know, he intelligent, huh? he bright. Yeah, so we could give somebody else a chance right now. Well... Start from the beginning, uh, he, he baptized me years ago. <laughs> okay. I, I was one of his followers. And he took care of my whole, my whole family. You know, if got any um, event for us, unfortunately, he helped out. I think. Anything happen in the neighborhood, he'll come around. That's about it. Words from residents who in many cases are backing traditional parties, but some also seeing Avili as an option. Not necessarily enough to conclude that he'll win the seat, but certainly that he could impact the eventual outcome of the election.